fun. What a posse part two. Mark, go ahead. You were so excited. And I'm kind of excited to see what's in that big white box. Now, before you open that, I'm just curious. Shut me down, I'm going to shut you down because I'm just curious. Are you as retentive about this box as you are of others? Yes. So did you take, and when you bought this, did you send it back because you didn't like the box? (laughs) Because the mailing box had a sticker on it? I thought about it. (laughs) But I was like, I don't know. I just, a lot of people canceled these. I wish at least I, that we knew. I was going to, but then it, it was like, oh, it's already been shipped. So oh, I was like, oh. look at you. So this is a, a re-release of like every one that they've done for Infinity War. Okay. Or All the children of Thanos. Oh, nice. look at that. And I mean, this is a really big box. So there's it is a big box. Glare because it's just like a huge glare. Can I ask what you paid for that? It was one twenty nine shipped. But I mean, it's basically the build a figure. Both these guys, Call Obsidian and Thanos, were build a figures. Yeah. This guy was the uh, Corius. The glaive was pretty hard. Was he to the come one by. that was with Loki? The rest are just repaints. Mm-hmm. They're all kind of just repaints. But I just really dig this Thanos with the extra heads and that yeah. Call Obsidian. By but the the damaged arm is what I think made people buy it too the the damaged thanos arm that he has oh, at, sure. after like the beginning of end game yep so what was the build a figure on this no they were all like they were all former like re-releases oh. there was a couple yeah. different build a figures the thanos was a build a figure and the cull was a build a figure for a different wave oh okay but and the, the cull was only a build a figure like two years ago <laughs> and then the uh the chorus glaive was in the two pack with loki which was i mean the paint the paint on these is just way better i mean yeah. You get a real close up of like him. Yeah, very. The the scans look great. Hmm. I do like that messed up hand though, mm-hmm. on Thanos. But so I don't know. I Jones for that. I was gonna cancel my order because there was like speculation that it'll be cheaper at some point in time. Mm-hmm. Was I, it Amazon? If it is cheaper at some point in time, I'll just buy another one. Did yeah. you buy more than one? Nope. Are you going to keep that? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. But I might buy another one if they go on clearance. Okay. Or on sale. All right. I have two Alpha Flight sets. No. Well, I have two Nimrods. I sold mine. I know. Oh, okay. I did. Um, can I take over for a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. sure. Okay, cool, because I just want to show you two really cool uh, Hanukkah gifts that I got this year. One, you guys will laugh at me. Oh God, the Rosie O'Donnell show, Barbie. Yes. I remember seeing that in stores. Like that was like the she was the Ellen literally of the nineties. When the Ellen 90s. was doing TV shows, she and was doing what Ellen does now. Barbie shows. decided to do a uh, a do one, and it's really funny because the back of it looks like her set. <laughs> they have the side. Um, oh, so as you a set too, so you oh. can play with it. On the other side is the same thing, um, but. I guess one of my buddies saw this and said I had to have that. So. You need this, Chad. I need this. I, I thought of you I, when I saw this. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I kind of think this is sort of neat. It is cool. <laughs> it's, like, it's a weird. It's one of those odd things to have in your collection. Well, is that this talking point piece? Who's with her on the picture on the bottom on the front? I can't really see. It's Barbie, isn't it? Yeah, it's Barbie. Okay, yeah, they kind of look like uh, Wayne and Garth. It's an activity zone. Of shenanigans that uh, someone says shenanigans again. Shenanigans, activities, jokes, and much, much more for you. Yeah. So what they're trying to do is go. We don't have enough inside this box. Let's well, put, let's put some more shenanigans like in there. Thank you. Thank you. I like you. it. Um, yeah. So I got this, and then one of my my friends and clients uh, knows how much of a huge Robert Goulet fan I am. I am a a huge Robert Goulet fan. <clears throat> so I got from her this uh, stable. This was a tabletop thing from a. Let me see where it was from. Dunes Hotel Casino, 1988. Is that Rob- Vegas? An, an evening with Robert Goulet. Uh, I believe so. I don't know. And so I got this little card things that somebody she got this on eBay, and I was really surprised because I didn't know eBay had cool things still because they're just so crappy these days. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I got this. And then this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the tour book that came with it. And so I'm just going to go through a few of them real quick. But, you know, they, they show like, I don't think I have that. that he looks go. like uh, 
Burt Reynolds in that picture on the top right. Um, but then they, they go through some of like all the presidents that he's met and shaking hands like he's just, you know, he was the bomb, man. He was really cool. Remember when he was on Boy Meets World? But no. <laughs> but this uh, time I'm going to I'm going to have this framed. Nice. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely going to have this framed. He looks like he wants to be a star of like a cop movie. He he should have been. He 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 looks like uh God, I can't remember um Oh, God, I can't remember the cop show. But, yeah, anyways, so then I also got a Robert Goulet mug. I didn't even know that was the same person without the mustache. This is, I would not, this is Goulet when tonight. he looked like in Camelot. Oh. So that was 50s, 60s Goulet. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is 80s Goulet. Goulet. So, remember, when Goulet. He, remember when he was in Beetlejuice? Yes. Yeah, and Scrooge. Yeah. And Scrooge. Yeah. He, was, he did a lot of, like, 80s, 90s. He movies. was cool, man. He was the hippest crooner ever. I encourage you. He's got one of the best... Uh, Christmas albums ever, and he was a great Canadian crooner, and he was a hip swinging cat. And I just said that. Go Canada. Yes, take over, oh, Mark. Okay. What do you got? Uh, I don't know, Brandon. What do you want to show? Let's start off. We'll do DC first. So I got. Oh uh, boy. Yes. Oh, Chad's favorite here. <laughs> DC. But it's Batman, so it's okay. Hey, did you see that really good movie that DC did called Wonder Woman 1984? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, what do you got? I do see Solomon. I got a couple right of here. Batman. They got this Justice oh, League Batman. Look at that. Got these from uh, Farpoint Toys. Okay. Uh, out in South Jersey, and uh, if you haven't checked out the uh, their episode on a toy store near us, definitely check it out. But yeah, th- this I couldn't pass up that Batman. These that Justice just, League yeah, figures. Well, that's the greatest Batman. cartoon. No. What? No. Yeah, the do you great. remember? Oh, you gonna say Super Friends? Do you remember oh. the intro? Those were, I'd say yes, better than Ben. But well, remember the stupid, really your stupid, the really Justice bad. League? Yeah, remember the CGI intro where they just look like bubble people rock, walking around? Never mind. Yeah, no. but that, that they change it to the good animation. <laughs> yes, but that's just trying to make a little, save a little well, money. Well, anyway, but I won't have anything to say about five, DC. Anyways, top don't five interrupt me when I'm bashing show. DC. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Chad it out. I may have watched it a lot too. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It had some good like cameos in it. Man, so. it wasn't it bad. Great. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I agree that yeah. CGI stuff was horrible. It was crappy. Yeah. But I got this Batman, and uh, Mark was talking about like this was during the time like when the Schumacher movies were coming mm-hmm. out that mm-hmm. they did Batman everything like deep deep dive Batman, iceberg Batman, like fire Batman. So this is like I guess Zorro Batman. This is when I quit collecting Batman. When they just jumped the shark. Arctic Batman, Ninja Batman, Pirate Batman. Oh, Cyborg Batman. Joel Schumacher just, uh, he just passed away this year, too. You know who's yeah, taking, running with this idea? Who? McFarlane. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, he yeah. kind of did that before anybody Batman, else. Batman, Batman, Batman. Yeah, but he did that with Spawn. He did that right? with Spawn, yeah. exactly. Yeah. What else you got? This, uh, he just, he literally just opened this up. Yeah, the, the figures I didn't want, I just wanted this build a figure. This it is, still smells new. You can smell the benzene. Solomon Grundy, which I should have bought from Mark at one of the first swaps for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, I sold one of these. I, sold I ended a up selling out 160, so not too bad. But that ain't bad. Oh, it's too bad he's got that big goofy chin. Mine doesn't have that. Oh no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, oh, is there an alternate now? <laughs> no. There's a chase. <laughs> I like that one. I like that. I, I, Solomon Grundy's one of my. I don't mind him. He's actually pretty interesting. He's this just, is a hundred dollar, hundred and something dollar. He's thing. on. He's on Mark. He's, I mean, he's on Chad's like little tiny piece of paper of acceptable DC characters. He's acceptable because he comes. He is a derivative of Gollum, which is a Jewish uh, folklore yeah. of you know. You put the piece of paper in it. And... Yep. Yep. And that's totally what they did off of him, and, and that's why Solomon Grundy sounds like Gollum and Gollum. Yeah. So I mean, there you go. Who's that? Oh, uh, I got this uh, WWE Master of the Universe. Uh, this was a Walmart exclusive where it came with like a Snake Mountain ring, and is it that was... Mark Seacamp? Yeah, or, I mean, or is that Mark uh, uh, Mark, Mark, Hall. Mark Hall? Yeah, and then it's uh, Mark Hall has more. Abs. It came with him and Hogan, but I just bought the Austin because I have an Austin collection. So. What is with the snake arms? That's what his Master of the Universe thing is. He has oh. he's a rattlesnake. He has, you know. He has Snake Mountain. Because <laughs> Stone Cold said so. Can't keep up with your crossovers, people. The, the rattlesnake. The Texas rattlesnake. Yeah. What'd you pay yeah, for that? DTA, don't trust anyone. Uh, 15 bucks ship. That's not bad. The whole thing was 50, so it was fair. That's and then now bad. these you got. These I got from Dave Wheeler, uh, who's a local customizer that's in the Posse group. 
And this is Zack Ryder and Kerr Hawkins to WrestleMania 35 gear where they won the tag team championship. Oh. So. This is a custom? Yeah, this is Did a custom. Did he actually have a Power Ranger knee thing on? Uh, well, that was it's his not thing. Power That's Ranger at all. To Too in. bad. Yeah. Too bad, so sad. And then this was These Haw- are really Kurt Hawkins' neat, man. gear. Yeah, he it took him forever because he had to get the right type of green because he's a Jets fan, uh, Kurt Hawkins. Okay. And uh, so he had his gear like the Jets color. So. That is really neat. Great job. Mm-hmm. Really good job. Did now? Did you request him to do these, or did he yeah. say, "Hey, I'm going to do these," and then you? Pay uh, him? He was doing them, and then I was like, "Oh, can you get do me a pair? Uh, do, do a pair for me?" And I just I gave him the figures that I had that he used, and then uh, I just paid him the fee for labor and stuff. So cool. But he'll do he'll do like things of anything. He could probably even do like a a smart Hulk. Oh, I doubt custom. that. No, I'm kidding. That's fun. That's good for him, man. That's really yeah. cool. Can I ask what you paid for those? Uh, it's two hundred. That's not bad. That's yeah. reasonable for you know, custom. Especially because of the work. If it was crappy work, I wouldn't have paid two hundred. Oh, those are you know, those are beautiful. Yeah. So continuing the wrestling train, train, I got these. These are the new ultimates that Mattel is doing, um, and this is the fiend. So Bray Wyatt's old uh, Bray Wyatt was his old character. This is the fiend. This is like his alter ego, like Undertaker slash Kane slash all those mystical. R.I.P. Brody Lee. Yeah, R.I.P. Mr. Hoover. Brody Lee. Mm. Who was the first uh, Wyatt family member? Mm-hmm. I got this Hollywood Hulk Hogan from uh, WCW. Look at his face. <laughs> comes with three, like for like thirty-five bucks. It comes with like the boa, the championship with NWO written on it, three heads and sunglasses, and a shirt. So like, I feel like you get your money's worth. You gotta wonder how Jesse Ventura felt about taking the boa. That was kind of his stick. Yeah, his but stick. didn't he also take that from Billy Graham? He, he did. did. Yeah, he did. So. But, but but Hogan took way more. Uh, he, from Billy Hogan, Graham. Yeah, Hogan, like, Hogan Hogan took as much from Billy Graham stole. as uh, Rick Flair took from Buddy Rogers. Oh, there my you go. Goodness, pretty much. Absolutely. Like I'm just gonna take your finisher and your nickname. Yeah. <laughs> now speaking of Rick Flair, woo. Oh, uh, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte. Rick Flair's daughter. She's using his colors too. Oh. Oh no! But they're uh, those are tough. Uh, tough boxes but yeah she is, she has become like it's fine she has kind of niched out her own carved out her own niche she's the queen you know? she's almost got as many championships as her, her dad already yeah she's like eight or nine now wow but that's cool that she's not living in her dad's shadow no i think that's she's cool pretty story. awesome actually the better thing to say is thank god yeah she's thank not god. living yeah, in david, her dad's shadow david flair i think that was his biggest mistake and unfortunately uh he his died. middle son reed died uh, who got addicted to drugs? But overdosed. Yeah, that's oh, sad. Well, I gotta say that <clears throat> it's really good to see you guys because we Me haven't too. said it's been months. It's been months, Brandon. Yeah. I gotta give you a shout out for uh, for doing all the interviews while we were locked down again because of our amazing, awesome uh, local government. Yeah, I mean, you you really stepped up and did some really amazing interviews. And I encourage everybody to come back and check them out. I'd watched every one of them, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Thank they you. were really good. So yeah, definitely. We I know the guy from Mattel wants to come back, and hopefully he'll come back because he has some cool Master of the Universe knowledge. That'd be sweet. Yeah. So we have this is what this is the last couple of days of the year. Yeah. Who is going to be our next guest next year, twenty twenty one? Our next guest is going to be a favorite of ours and everyone else, uh, Jason from Yak Face. Oh. Oh, Jason, cool. To talk Star Wars he's, and the Mandalorian yeah. and the Book of Boba. Ooh, I want to talk to him about the Mandalorian. I yes, got some questions. Especially the this season. Like, Go binge this season and then watch the next episode because we're not doing spoiler alerts. It's been out long enough. No, yep. but here I'm going to yeah. make one point that nobody has made yet about the last Mandalorian. Okay. And I want you guys' opinion on this. And, and actually... We'll do Let's it pose it to the audience. They say pose it to the audience. We okay. can come back next week. And Let me ask you this because both of you guys are as nerdy as I am about Star Wars. Not so much Mark. But uh, it was set, Mandalorian was set 15 years after Yoda. Five years. Yeah, five years. I thought it. Five years. Then that answers all of my questions. Never mind. Yeah. And then it. I thought it was 50 years after, if not 15, 50. I thought it was 50 years after Yoda died. And that's why, that's why the baby Yoda, Grogu was, was 50. It was five years. It was no, only it, five. It was five because then with uh, Ahsoka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka episode, they she reveals that she he was at the academy when Anakin he somehow survived when Anakin killed 
Oh, all that's the younglings, right. or all the fa- or younglings or whatever. Well, I'm glad we cl- cleared this up because I thought it was 50, and I was like, he looked way too young. That CGI that they put on him on the last of the Mandalorian. Yeah. I was like, shouldn't he look like he was 50? But yeah, never like, mind. if they had, if it was 50, they could have just used Mark Hamill as Mark Hamill. Oh, good point. So, I like so. that they used his voice. Yeah, I and they, they the CGI looked better than it had in previous good. years. Sweet. Well, hey, it's really good to hang out with you guys again. It's been like for freaking ever, and we've all been just kind of cooped up in lockdown. Next year. Hell yeah. Next year. (laughs) See you next year. All right. Peace out, people. See you.